This tutorial provides instructions on how to create a secured party group within the Personal Property Securities Register. After completing this tutorial, you should understand the purpose of the PPSR Secured Party Group functionality and how to successfully create a secured party group. A secured party group is a term used only by the PPSR system to identify one or more secured parties. To create registrations in the PPSR, secured parties will need to set up a secured party group with their details. When created, the secured party group assists the secured party to manage their registrations in the PPSR. Any user can create a secured party group. A new secured party group is required if one does not already exist for the secured party or if the user wishes to add or remove parties to or from an existing secured party group. A secured party group can contain one or more secured parties. All new secured party groups are allocated a unique secured party group number that is used to identify the group and an access code that is used to authorise users to view and or amend the secured party group's details. The following section will provide a demonstration of creating a secured party group in the Personal Property Securities Register. From the PPSR homepage, hold your mouse over the Secured Party Groups tab. This will open a menu containing the different options. Click the Create a Secured Party Group option. This will open the Create Secured Party Group page. This screen contains information about the Secured Party Group creation process. Scroll down or press the Page Down key. To begin, click the Create Group button. The Create Group page allows the creation of a new Secured Party Group by entering all data in manually or by using an existing group's details to create a new Secured Party Group. Scroll down or press the Page Down key. For this example, we will select the Create a New Secured Party Group option. Click the Next button to continue. The Secured Party Details page will be displayed. Scroll down or press the Page Down key. Select whether the secured party is an organisation or an individual. For this example, we will select the organisation, including partnerships with an ABN, option. You should note the advice on which organisational identifier you are required to use. Select Yes. Enter an organisation number into the Secured Party Identifier field. The identifier can be one of the following. ARSN, ACN, ARBN, ABN or the organisation name. There are multiple values that can be entered into the Secured Party Identifier field. Based on the identifiers you may have available, you should make sure that you use the correct type of identifier for the organisation. For example, for a body corporate you should use ARSN, ACN or ARBN in that order of importance. Only if none of the previous identifiers are available should you enter an organisation name. For this example, the secured party does not have an ARSN but has an ACN. Select the ACN option from the list and enter the ACN into the corresponding field. Click the Verify button. Scroll down or press the Page Down key. The ACN will be verified with the Australian Securities and Investment Commission, or ASIC. Scroll down or press the Page Down key. Enter a contact name and a contact phone number. If preferable, the contact recipient can be the name of a role in the organisation instead of a specific person. Contact name and contact phone number fields are both mandatory. Enter an email address. Enter your mailing address, ensuring the address is entered correctly. Mailing address details will never be displayed by the system. The mailing address fields are mandatory. 
scroll down or press the Page Down key. Click on Add another secured party to include the details of another member in the group. However, for this example we will not perform this step. Click the Next button to continue. Scroll down or press the Page Down key. The address for service is the nominated address to which all notifications for the members of a secured party group are sent from the PPSR. It is defined when the secured party group is created and can be subsequently amended. The address for service is publicly available. All notifications by PPSR will be sent to this address and must be sent to an email address or mailing address. If you wish, you can use a secured party's details in the address for service. Alternatively, you can manually enter secured party group contact details in the fields below. We will use the secured party details that we entered previously by selecting it from the drop-down list and clicking the Use Details button. Click the Use Details button. This will pre-populate the Secured Party Group contact details. Scroll down or press the Page Down key. Click the Next button to continue. The register will then display all the details you have entered for you to review. Scroll down or press the Page Down key. You have the option to make any changes using the relevant Edit button or to proceed with the creation of the Secured Party Group. Scroll down or press the Page Down key. Once you are satisfied that all details are correct, click the Next button. If an apparent duplicate Secured Party Group is being created, a message will be displayed warning you of this. When you save the Secured Party Group, you will be given your Secured Party Group number immediately. An email will be sent to the address for service advising of the Secured Party Group creation, Secured Party Group number and Secured Party Group access code. Scroll down or press the Page Down key. Being the user who created a Secured Party Group does not make you the owner of the group. In order to access a Secured Party Group, you will require the Secured Party Group number and access code. Once a Secured Party Group is created, its details cannot be edited, except for the address for service. This concludes the simulation. If you would like to watch the simulation again, please use the Replay button, or click the Next button to proceed. This tutorial should have helped you to understand the purpose of the PPSR Secured Party Group functionality and how to successfully create a Secured Party Group. Additional information about the Personal Property Securities Register can be found on the PPSR website.